from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Mark II Ultramarine's Assault Marine. If you'd like to support the channel, our Coffee and Patreon page is a link below. Now on to the video. So this is the miniature we're going to be painting today and the end results for it. You can see the numerals on the knee and there's going to be a video to do that laurel on the shoulder pad at a later point. But this is what we're going to be hopefully finishing with by the end of this video. The first colour we're going to use is Vallejo Black. We're going to be using this to do the casing on the bolt pistol and on the chainsaw, and also to do those rubber seals between the battle plate. So you've got a little section down the front of the armour, you've also got around the hips and the groin, and you've got some sections running down the back of the lower leg and the back of the upper armour too. Next up, we're going to be using some Citadel Retributor armor. This is going to be to do all of the gold trim, so you've got down the shoulder pads, certain parts of the arm as well. I was looking at a picture that was on the 40k wiki, I think it was, or the Warhammer wiki, and you've got some nice pictures of Mark II, Mark III Ultramarines on there who have sections in gold, like this little bit around the waist. I really thought that set off the armour quite well, so I'm going to be doing that for the Mark 3s as well as the Mark 2s. There's certain little bits that you can pick out and add the gold to here, and really breaks up the miniature and makes them look really, really cool. The next colour we're going to use is Citadel Iron Hand Steel. I'm going to be using this to do all of the metallic parts, so you've got the sections of the bolt pistol, the teeth of the chainsaw, the various parts of the jump pack, like the top, and all the little detailing on there. Also a few little symbols as well, like the little section that's like a kind of belt buckle on the front there. Next we're going to be using some Vallejo White. I'm going to use this to do the inside of the underside of the jump pack. Also the white of the Ultramarine symbol too. I'm going to paint this because I'm just going to use a couple of shades just to put some reds and oranges and yellows in there to make them look a little bit like the flaming. I used to use them with just a little bit of a metallic, then give them a bit of a wash from Null Noil. But I thought I'm going to do a little bit of a glow on them so they look a little bit different. Now I'm going to use some Citadel Mephist on red. This is going to be to do the lenses. There's also two little, almost like buttons, on the front of the harness for the jump pack. You've got one which is like a little round red button, but there's also one on the other side that looks like it's got a bit of a release button for a seat belt. So I thought I'd paint that red so it looks like the seat belts in most cars. That comes on a little bit later. We're going on to Citadel Baneblade Brown here, and this is going to be used to do any pouches or anything like that, and also the belt running around his waist. We now have the first shade coming on. This is going to be Citadel Drucci Violet. So we're just going to shade all the sections of Mephist on red on a miniature. Now we're going to use some Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade. And this is going to be to shade all of the blue. Plenty of blue on a miniature. So you're going to be using quite a bit of Drakenhof Nightshade. Now we're going to use some Citadel Snakebite Leather. This is going to be to do the belt and the pouches. So only those bits you use Bane Blade Brown on. Currently struggling a little bit here. It's ridiculously warm where I'm recording the audio. Sadly there's nowhere else I can go and get it. And it's so noisy outside that if I have the windows open you can hear the background noise of the window. I can't put the fan on because you can hear the fan as well. So I'm trying to keep myself awake. So if my 
voice falters at any point i apologize for that it is just really really hot we're now going to use a little bit of citadel agrax air shade and this is going to be to use on all of the retributor armor to get that nicely shaded and dulled down now the ultramarine shoulder on his symbol there what i did was i left that blue i've done the retributor armor around the edge of it and then you can shade it and repaint that and then once that's painted you can just add the white to the inverted omega on the inside and that will have that nice gold trim a little round bit of shade and then the nice white u in the middle I'm now going to start doing the power armor and that is going to be using citadel mccrag blue initially i'm going to reapply the color thinking about where the light is going to be catching the battle plate and adding more of the mccrag blue to those areas that are going to be catching more light if you've got any ridges above then the is going to be a little bit of shade underneath those ridges and then you can start lighting it from below where the shade is but think about the light and how the light hits it if you need to shine a little torch from above so you can see the shaded areas a lot easier now i'm going to use citadel of the fang to highlight so you're going to cover about 50 percent of the previous layer with this layer making sure that the areas that will be catching the light are the brightest parts The final highlight we're going to be doing on the armour is Citadel Rust Grey and this is going to be to pick out the details and do some edge highlights on there just to make those details stand out. So you've got bolts stuck in the armour here and there, you've also got little ridges and you've got all those ridges on the leg sections too. So you want to highlight all those edges that will be catching the light just so that they stand out a little bit more. Now we are working on the gold, we're going to return to Citadel Retributor Armour. You're going to reapply this again, thinking about where the light's going to catch it and where the shine is going to be brightest on all these golden sections. Make sure you get this base layer on any areas that you're going to be reapplying gold colour. And when you move on to the later stages, we can highlight that and get those areas to shine a lot more, where they'd be catching the most light. Now we're going to use some Citadel Liberator Gold, and this is going to be to highlight the areas of the Retributor Armour, covering probably about 50% of that layer, but getting the areas that be catching most light, so they are lighter and shinier than the Retributor Armour. As you can see from where I'm applying this, that the Liberator Armour does, or Liberator Gold does, give a really, really nice shine to those Retributor Armour areas. The final part for the gold is to add a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold. We are then going to do final highlights using a little bit of this on the areas that will be catching the most light, but mainly using it to highlight all of those gold areas. And what that does is give it a really, really nice shine and make those edges and details stand out. Next we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo White and we're going to use this to paint the Ultramarines badge on the shoulder there. Now this is the kind of embossed shoulder pads you get from Forge World with the detail moulded onto it. So it's a lot easier to do but I will link up the tutorial on how to paint the Ultramarines chapter badge so that if you want to you can freehand that onto the rest of the shoulders. And what scientists are calling a little bit annoying, there appears to be a section of footage missing from this. So all these layers that I'm putting the iron hand steel back on here have been shaded using Citadel Nuln Oil, which is the missing section. 
So when you get to this bit, pause it, lash loads and null oil over the iron hand steel sections. And then you can come back to this part of the video and we'll reapply some colour. So again, like you did with the gold, think about where the light's going to be hitting it most and highlighting those areas more. And that will give it that nice shine where the light should be catching it. Now we are going to use a little bit of Citadel Mephist on red. We're going to use this to do the two buttons and also the lenses on his eyes. So you can see there the little round button. And I've done this one that I'm just painting here. As though it is the clunk click kind of seatbelt. The little red button to pop the seatbelt free. So we're going to paint the back two thirds of the lens. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Evil Sun Scarlet. And we're going to do about 50% of the area we just put the Mephisto on red on. I'm going to use the Evil Sun Scarlet to cover 50% of that. And doing about a third of the lens at the back there. In a kind of crescent towards the front that is. I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Wild Rider Red to do a tiny little highlight on those lighter sections of red on the lenses. Then we're going to use a little bit of white. We're going to do a spot of light at the front of each lens. And then a really, really, really tiny thin line highlight of reflected light at the back where the oranges and reds are. Now I'm just going to go back to Vallejo Black and this is just to touch up all of the areas of black that we've previously done in case there's some of the other colours on there. So just go through each section, reapply the black if you need to. If you don't, you can move on to the next part. Now we are going to use some Vallejo German Grey, and this is going to be to highlight the black. So you're going to use this on the seals between the battle plate. You just want to do those with the German Grey and no further highlights to them. And then you can also use it to do the casing highlights on the bolt pistol and also the chainsword. So you want to be thinking about where the light's catching those sections and highlight them accordingly. Now we're using a little bit of Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. We're just going to use the, the edge highlights on the casing of the bolter and the chainsaw. So the edges that are catching the light, you want to give them a nice highlight. Now it's Citadel Balor Brown, I'm going to use this to highlight the leather. So when we're doing the leather belt and also the pouches, you want to be doing the brush strokes at 90 degrees to whichever way the edge or angle of the pouch is. And that will give you these nice rough edges as though the leather has been scuffed. Now we're going to use some Citadel Iron Hand Steel. I'm going to use this just to touch up the little sections on the miniature where maybe the steel's got a bit of colour over it. So pick out a few little bits on the bolt pistol. Also the little clips on the back of the pouches too. We're then going to use a little bit of Vallejo White and this is to do the laurel on the shoulder. There's actually going to be a start to finish video of this in a bit more slow time coming up hopefully this Sunday. So we just want to started to draw the laurel there next up we're going to use some citadel cassandora yellow and this is going to be to do sections on the inside of the engines of the jump pack. I'm mainly using this on the raised area. So you're going to have this sort of like thin layer of white at the very deepest point on the inside of the jump pack there.
Then we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Fugan Orange and we're going to start highlighting the parts which are slightly further away from the white. So you're going to have white, yellow, orange, then red. So you just want to work your way back from the white sections, add in the yellow, then add in the orange, then add in the red. So it looks like it's getting darker and darker and, the, and therefore cooler and cooler on the edges of those sections. And finally, we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Carrot Bird Crimson just to get some red colour onto the edge of each of the pipes on the jump pack and also in the middle sections where it's going to be a little bit colder or cooler I should say. There's the finished miniature really pleased with how it turned out I love the blue it's nice and vibrant it goes really well and contrast against that gold I'm really pleased with the shoulder pads and the detail on there. All in all a nice second addition to the Ultramarines. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel, you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.